What's up everybody, my name is Chris. If the question is, what does it mean to rehumanize? I have to ask the question, well, what does it mean to have been dehumanized? So I look at the colonial process and what's happened in the past four or 500 years as Europe expanded, spread across the world, the violence, the aggression, the paramilitarism, the consumption, the view of humans as labor source, the idea of numbers and data being more important than who we are as people, the idea of race, class, gender, social strata, you know, like the way we categorize now and view people as things, how we objectify. To me, that leads to dehumanization. So we need to rehumanize. And in being more human, that means more connective seeing that we are more than just atoms and particles, seeing that it's not just about the money we make, seeing that it's not just about consuming, but how we contribute and are part of the natural cycle. In my mind, in order to rehumanize, we have to get past the individual and the identity that leads to fracturing and understand our commonalities, understand our common work, our common experience, the existential crisis of, I'm alive, how, why, what am I here to do? Who am I here to do it with? What is the purpose of all this? And work together. And even if we never find the answer, we will find our humanity in each other.